Oh, wow. Oh, okay, wow. Wow. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing something a little different, a little special. I'm excited because my makeup is already did and I actually get to sit and just chill and chat and hang out with y'all. Sometimes when I do tutorials, it's like a little stressful because I need to nail this makeup, you know? And I can't even think because I'm like holding my breath trying to do eyeliner or like put on a lash or blend or something. So anyway, today's a little bit more chill. Got my beverage and we are going to be trying scents. We're going to be smelling some amazing scents from rebelsense.com. This video is brought to you by rebelsense.com. They've graciously offered to send me some of their amazing scents and uh, sponsor this video and we get to hang out and kind of do a first impression slash review together. So rebelsense.com makes it easy for you to shop for scents based off of kind of like the vibe that you're going for. So they divide it up into a few different categories. You can go by scents by the girl, which is boss babe, total bombshell, troublemaker, and pure sugar. What if I identify with all four? And then scents by occasion, girls night out, tropical vacation scents, casual scents, or special occasion. So I like that. I like how they kind of break it down for you and make it easy for you to kind of like figure out what vibe you're looking for and then you can find a scent that's gonna match that. Another thing that's really cool about Rebel Scents is, I don't know how they do it, but the, these are designer fragrances that are so much cheaper than if you were to try and get it from a department store or a Sephora. I got the Troublemaker scent collection because obviously hello <laughs> we're gonna smell all of the scents that come in this collection and go from there it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a blast okay so let's start out with this one i really want to just like smell each one without reading any of the description and kind of see if i can like decipher and like see if i can tell like what's going on this scent and then i'll read the description of like what the notes are so this is machino pink couture This is quite possibly the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It looks like a little Windex bottle. Oh, you oh, okay. You can't squeeze it like this. Darn. I was really hoping you could do that. So you take you take the top off and then there's the spritzer. I'm just going to spritz it on this little business card that I have here. That is so fresh. It's fresh, it's like daytime, it's girly. I can totally smell like the citrusy vibes. So it says this scent type is fruity, floral, and fresh. Exactly, I mean 100%. Notes of fresh pink grapefruit, luscious cassis, and lily of the valley lead into heart of pomegranate and soft wild rose. A warming base of cedarwood and musk round out the experience. It says on the back, caution, this perfume may, may make you feel fresh. I absolutely love it. Like, I want to spritz it all over my, like, clothes. It smells like, like a classy laundry detergent or something. Just absolutely adorable. And 10 out of 10 for the packaging. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, next up, let's do Pure Couture Noir by Karen Lowe Paris. Excuse me, this isn't Fast and Furious. Ooh, and it has like the little seal of authentication. Authentication. Oh, wow. That is so luxurious. It looks like jello. I want to take a bite out of it. Okay, is it just me? It can't just be me, but I absolutely love perfume bottles. They're so unique and so cute and just add to the whole experience. Oh wow, that is so sweet. Mm, that smells absolutely delicious. Oh my god, it smells like like a I literally don't want to stop smelling this. It's it smells like like I have to always like relate everything to food. It smells like a delicious like fruit punch, but it has like this air of like kind of sexiness to it, like a sexy Kool-Aid man vibes. Oh, yeah. I feel like this for me would be a daytime scent, but one where it's like I'm full glam, like I'm going out and I'm that bitch. I'm looking great, sultry, but like it's daytime. Okay, so let's see what the website says about this one. Uh, fruity, flor 
<laughs> fruity floral gourmand wild berries and mandarin with a floral touch of jasmine gardenia and a sensual base of woods and warm vanilla this is my jam i love all of those things should i rank them from like favorite to least favorite maybe i'll do that at the end we'll do that at the end okay let's let's move on to the next ones that I want to try, it looks like they, there's two from the same brand in here. Color Me, neon pink and purple. So let's try the pink one. It looks like we have a theme here. There's a lot of pinks, but I think that's cute. Ooh, that is so neon. Gosh, I just am loving all of these bottles. It's really bringing me back to like, I don't know, a younger carefree me glass bottle plastic top oh that one kind of comes out like oh okay wow it, it's hitting me okay this is an interesting scent to come in a package like this and just like the name neon pink for me it's it's very it's like woody and like musky not really like a fresh kind of like when i see bright pink i guess i think of more of a fresh scent but this is a, definitely a nighttime scent for me. It has like a little bit of like vanilla or sweetness in there somewhere, but it's definitely got that like musky kind of flavor, <laughs> flavor to it. Let's see what it says. Oriental woody floral, citrus, mandarin, ginger, jasmine, woody, vanilla, and musks. Yep, nailed it. I'm very smart. Okay, and so just to keep it in the theme, let's try the Color Me Purple one next. Because I'm dying to know how this one compares to the pink. Yeah, this one, it has more of a, a body spray sprayer to it, but it's nice because like a lot more comes out. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, both of the Color Me ones, I don't know if it's just because a lot more is coming out, but they are very, they're way stronger than the other two. Like, this is a scent where it's like, you probably, you know, you could probably easily go overboard, but it'll also probably last you a really long time. This one smells musky as well and definitely woody. So if you are somebody who don't like really sweet, like florally kind of scents, you might like this one. Fruity, watery, floral, watery rose jasmine and vanilla this one i would also probably pick for nighttime like a nighttime on vacation like there's a cool like island breeze just wafting and you're on a private yacht drinking champagne i want to be there all right let's do another pink one this one is sweet life oh my God, who's in charge here? Doesn't this look like something Fenty would come out with? Ooh. Gotcha. God, this is freaking adorable. It's so bright. Here we go. Oh, wow. I <laughs> like how I'm saying that about everything. This one has such a delicious citrusy smell to it. I absolutely love citrus smells. This is totally daytime, like just not as strong as the other ones, but damn, that smells good. It literally smells like freshly squeezed orange juice, but like with a perfumey, like classy, like pretty aspect to it. Let's find out what it says that this one is. It's it, it's gonna say citrus, I just know it. Mandarin green apple black currant with a floral blend of peony, lotus, and sambac jasmine. So it's not sickeningly sweet, sickeningly sweet like a vanilla e vibe. This is like a fresh sweet, like literally like lemon zest. Oh my god! I just wish it was like stronger. I feel like the the scents the scents that I like really really like are not super strong and the ones that i'm not i wasn't crazy about are like strong like, what the hell? last but not least man i'm having fun and i want to try more okay last but hopefully not least is vera wang rock princess oh my god how freaking cute is that Oh my 
goodness, if that's not me in a bottle, then I just don't really know what to tell ya. Look at the little crown. Oh my goodness. It's metal. All of it's metal. Oh my, are you, no. Is this a ring? <gasps> is that, is this? Is this supposed to be a ring? This is the cutest thing I've ever freaking seen. And, and the little crown will still go on there. I'm freaking out. Wait, can you wear the crown as a ring? The crown definitely doesn't feel like it should be a ring. <laughs> maybe, maybe this isn't either, but I'm using it as one, honey. All right, let's smell the, let's smell the damn perfume. Oh, wow. This smells like what a princess would wear. It's it's kind of got a clean vibe to it, like the fresh one earlier. It has like a cleanness and freshness, but also like a little bit of like a sexiness to it. I could I feel like I could wear this day or night. Day or night, like literally anywhere. Like this is such a nice, well-rounded, like it smells like I just washed my hair or something, but like have a full face of makeup on too. And you just like are actually like effortlessly, stunningly gorgeous all the time. That's what this smells like. Let's see what the website says about it. Orange, pink pepper, and bergamot scents combined with heliotrope. Sounds like a sick band name. Jasmine, rose, lily of the valley, and a woody coconut background, huh? Coconut? I love the smell of coconut. I don't know if I'm getting that though. I don't know what I'm getting. I just, this one is so good. Yeah, I'm getting the orange blossom now. And I think I smell the sweetness of the coconut. Despite the, you know, the packaging, this is like a vacation scent for sure. Oh, you, if you're not wearing this to the beach, then get get off the beach. But it doesn't smell overly like beach scent, you know what I mean? Like when you get a beachy or vacation scent and it's like, this just smells like pina colada or like this just smells like sunscreen. Like I could have literally just put sunscreen on. I'm saying like, this is like you own Bora Bora. Honey. God, which one is my favorite? Nobody's making me choose, but I wanna choose. It is very hard for me to pick out of these three. These three are my favorites. And I'm so excited to see how they're all gonna smell like on my skin because, you know, scents can also take on a little bit of a unique vibe when you actually wear it on your skin. So that'll be fun. But um, yeah, these three are my faves. I, I just, well, you know what? I think cause it's nighttime and I wanna be a little sexy. I'm gonna do this one. Anyway, that concludes our fragrance scent test. <laughs> Hopefully you guys had fun hanging out with me while I try all these perfumes. I thought this was so fun. Thanks to Rebel Scents for sponsoring this video and for including me in, in this experience. I really enjoyed it. Um, I cannot wait to be wearing all of these perfumes and kind of like choosing which times I like to wear what. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below if you tried any of these scents. Uh, what kind of fragrances do you usually kind of go for are you more of a woodsy a floral a fresh clean vacationing on a yacht in bora bora you know let me know down below thanks for hanging out with me you guys and i'll see you in my next video